hey guys welcome to advices media this is chetan and i am going to guide you today on how you can update your ios device that's the iphone ipad or the ipod touch the compatible versions uh, with the ios 7 the new operating system from apple we have downloaded the file the ipsw file so we'll guide you on how you can download the links to uh, and uh, then you can how, how you can update it uh, using the apple itunes so this is the ipad file that comes with a 1.1 gb size so that's quite a heavy size so you it's better to download the device uh, ipsw rather than going and doing that through the apple itunes now for starting the uh, installation you have to open the itunes but before that you need to connect your device using the usb cable it could be either the 30 pin lightning port or the 9 pin so here we are using the lightning port for the ipad mini which i'm using it's the ipad mini so you can see that uh, the ipad mini is recognized by the itunes 11.1 .1, which i'm using and it shows ios 7.0 because i'm using the beta 6 version of the ios 7.0 but that's not the actual version which i have to use the one i am i have to install is the official ios 7 which was released by apple so now let's check if there are any updates available and it would obviously show an update uh, because i haven't updated to the actual official version so i'll skip this one because i'm showing you how you can do that using the ipsw file so here's how you can do that uh, you need to cancel this one and then while holding the shift key you need to press on the restore ipad uh, option and uh, when you click on this restore ipad it will open the file manager it will open the file manager where you can uh, just click on the file which we had downloaded so you need to appropriately place it in a uh, easy lo uh, located place now click on restore and you would see that it would start the software extraction and then proceed with the various steps that happen during the ios 7 installation or any usual ios installation it is the same procedure which uh, the itunes does and most of the stuff is done in uh, the ipad or the ios device here the ipad is being uh, prepared for the restoration and after this step it would wait for the ipad for the response from there and uh, this was uh, uh, one of the new pieces i was using so it would uh, install the various drivers for the ipad and also for the new ios 7 os it would verify the update with the apple servers also and then it would again wait for the ipad to respond and then it would prepare the ipad for the restore So as you can see on the top status bar it would show the various processes that are happening in both the iTunes and in the iPad too. Here the iPad is being uh, restarted and uh, being sent into the restored uh, mode also. And now the uh, iPad software is being verified. It would usually take around 10 to 15 minutes time for the whole process to happen and uh, it's uh, very much advisable that you take a backup before you start the iOS on installation and uh, because uh, you could lose your data who knows and uh, it's better to save all the data and later restore it to your device. So the iPad restore is being verified and uh, the next step would be the restarting of the iPad. So now it would ask us uh, whether to, uh, it would let us know that uh, the device is being uh, restarted and after the restart the next process would happen in the iPad itself. So as you can see after the restart the iTunes would start uh, recognizing the device again and the iPad is being shown in the devices list. So this would show as a new iPad because it's a new OS version installed and if at all we wanted to do it as a new, a new iPad we could set it up as a new one or else we can restore this from the backup which we had taken earlier 
and this backup includes all the applications all the notes and uh, various other uh, settings so it's uh, better to have a backup and later uh, restore it from the backup so this is what we would do here we would select the latest backup and hit continue and this will now back, uh, restore the data that was backed up earlier to the new iOS 7 so it would be the new I, uh, new OS version but uh, the, all the data is back into the device and once this uh, restoring is done it would again uh, restart the device for uh, one last time and uh, that is when you will be welcoming the new OS version into your device So here it is again the new uh, the iPad is uh, recognized and uh, I will show you the new OS version it would again show the iOS 7 and it was previously iOS 7 too but uh, we'll check for the update to verify whether there's a new update available or this is the latest one so as you can see this is the latest version it is the current version of uh, OS that is running on the iPad so this was how you could uh, update uh, your iOS iPad to the iOS 7. Do check out uh, the channel and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.